question. Who here wants to be healthy every single day of their life? Let me ask you another question. <laughs> Who here runs their own business and if they were ill, their business would stop working? Slows down. Yeah. Okay, so today I'm going to share with you um, how you as a small business can protect yourself from illness, uh, a little bit about me, why I do what I do, what does holistic actually really mean, and how I help clients on their journey to better health and fitness. So my story is that um, at the age of 27, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And off the back of cancer, I had depression. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard that expression, but when you meet your guru, you either take life and you look at yourself and go, how do I make it better for me? So that was my defining moment. I'd always been like fit, but not necessarily healthy. So it's my purpose through my own journey to help those who want to be helped through diet and exercise lead better lifestyles. From the age of 18, I was always in the gym. I loved it. I loved it. And so it made sense to me to actually then continue that journey and become a personal trainer and now you know, help other people on their journey as well. So I've been in the industry for seven years. And in, that, in my industry, that makes me a dinosaur. The average personal trainer lasts anywhere from six to 12 months. It's hard work. It's early hours, it's late nights. You've got clients to deal with, staff, and all those other things as well. So I am um, qualified as a personal trainer. I have a certificate for in fitness. I have a lot of other qualifications. And I also have a level two certificate in holistic lifestyle coaching. So that's why I'm here talking to you guys today. So let me ask you, what does holistic mean? Does anyone have any ideas what actually the word holistic means? Everything. Hmm? everything. It encompasses everything. So in our society, in modern medicine, we prescribe allopathically. And what that really means is that if you have a heart problem, you go and see a heart doctor. If you have a mental problem, you go and see a psych. But really, we want to bring it all together. Our body is a complete set of systems that works together. And I often talk about the six principles of holistic health, which are, well, I say them every week. Hydration. Hydration. Yep. Breath. Sleep. Breath. 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 Oh. Exercise. Exercise. Oh. Diet. That's it. That's all six. Yay! I'm glad you guys are If you want to know about those six in more depth, you can dance cover me because today I actually want to talk about some other things. But when you're out of balance in just one of those areas, achieving your goals can be much harder. What happens if you have a poor night's sleep? What kind of things do you do the next day to get through the day? Drink coffee. Drink coffee. Absolutely. I'm looking at you. <laughs> Eat sugar, those kind of things. So we really want to work with you in all of those areas so you get a bit more balance in your body. So we mainly work with exercise and diet, and then I work with clients on the other areas. But exercise requires two ingredients. What do you think they are? Energy. Energy. Well, that's actually a really good ingredient. I haven't thought about that. But yes, energy is one. <laughs> What would be some motivation. motivation, which equals fun, would you say? Time. Time, yeah. So for me, exercise requires fun. You should actually enjoy what you're doing. And it should also be functional to your everyday health. So let's use Brian as an example here. Brian is a client of Strive. <laughs> and he comes to us because the exercises that we do actually help him in his job. So you can do his job more efficiently with less pain and things like that. So that's the two ingredients. So. Exercise is based on functionality, and that's seven movement patterns that you do every day. And at Strive, we replicate those movement patterns. So everyone stands up, we're going to quickly do them together. So they're called primal patterns. The first one looks like this. You can tell me what it is. Sorry, Terry. <laughs> what is this called? Okay, everyone do a few squats. When do you think you do this movement? Sitting down. Sitting down, standing up. Yep. The benefit is it tones your bum, it tones your legs and your calves. Next movement looks like this. What's that called? If you have sore knees, um, don't, you don't have to do them all, just do some more movement. This is what you do when you walk up and down stairs. Yeah? Sometimes when you bend down, pick things up, you lunge. Often when you open a heavy door, you push yourself in a lunge position. Which brings me to the next one. What's this? Pushing! Pushing exercises, so that's your chest muscles, your shoulders and your triceps, or the back of the arms, ladies. And that's because you push open heavy doors, you push things into covers. 
yeah? Push your shopping trolley along. Opposite to push would be? Pull. Pull. Okay, give me an example of why you're pulling exercises. Pull the door. Yeah, pull the door open. <laughs> Whatever, pull things out of the cupboard. Everyone reach up tall, touch your toes. Come on, you should be able to touch your toes. <laughs> Be able to bend down, pick things up off the floor. Uh, what's this? Keep on do this. Can you remember this? Yeah, twist. Yeah, the twist. <laughs> cool. So twisting movements. When you open up that heavy door, you lunge, you pull, and you twist that door open. Does this start to make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Good. And um, the last one is gate, which is walking, and I'm not going to get you to walk, but you do that every day anyway. So you can always sit down. Now that's the exercise I'm going to finish this presentation. <laughs> Functional, that's what functional really means. It helps you in your everyday life using those movement patterns. Does that all make sense to you guys? Yep. Fantastic. So, does what I do at Strive really work? Of course it does. I guarantee my results. And I'm going to give you some case studies now. So, here we go. Now, I've got a three here to show you. I'll hand it around. This is Catherine Lees. She's been training at the centre for four weeks. What's interesting about her story is that um, she came to us and she was overweight and wants to lose some weight. She trains with us four times per week at six o'clock in the morning. But what I like about her, and I'll hand this around, is that she actually hasn't lost any weight on the scales, but if you look at her, her size and her shape has changed. How come? Gained muscle lost fat. What was that? Gained muscle lost fat. Yeah, gained muscle lost fat. So women in particular jump on the scales and they freak out when they haven't lost any weight. Mm -hmm. But their clothes are any difference and things like that. So we help coach people through that. You know, it comes down to the thoughts part of it. Um, this one here is also Catherine. And Catherine's been training with us for three months. She started off a little bit hesitant, so just two sessions a week on a very small agreement. She has lost over 20 kilos. She's so excited about what we do at Strive that she's actually committed for a longer term for over 12 months and now three sessions a week. I coach her with her food and her exercise and she is going great guns if you have a look at her. Well. And then this is Anthony. Anthony's one of my favourite stories and some of you have the pleasure of meeting him. He came to me after working with a personal trainer for over 20 years. In six months time he had lost 10 kilos, he was walking straighter, and he's also got some disabilities and he was speaking clearer as well. The other most empowering thing for Anthony is that um, he's semi-paralyzed and so when he walks he kind of drags half his body and he's acceptable to falling down a lot. He could not get himself off the floor and now he can. And I think that that's really empowering. So that's him as well. So the services that um, I offer at Strive it's one-on-one -on -one personal training, and that's a commitment of anywhere from two to four times per week, but a minimum commitment of 26 weeks. And the reason for that is that I want to get people serious results, and I guarantee them. Anything shorter than that, they're not going to change, really. Um, so the sessions start at $125 up to $400, depending on your time, motivation, budget, those kind of things. I offer a complete package so clients do get serious results, and that includes a foundations workshop where we look at those six principles, thoughts, breath, hydration, diet, exercise, and sleep. So education is a real component of what we do at Strat. Also included in the personal training is the group fitness training, and that's Mondays and Thursday mornings and Wednesday nights, and also yoga, which is Tuesdays and Thursday nights. And the reason why I have yoga is to tie into that principle of breath. I need to take one now. <sighs> that's good. <laughs> to slow it all down. Mm -hmm. um, and then also I do holistic coaching as well. So every two months, once clients have been to the foundation workshop, they then come and work with me. And that's when I work with them deeper on their thoughts. An example of this is at the moment I have a client that I'm nutritionally coaching. And um, she's about the same weight as me. She wants to lose weight. But it's not actually about the food for her. But food is what she uses to get herself out of her feelings. Does that make sense? It's a bit of an addiction. So I work with clients on that deeper level to uncover what thoughts they've got around their body and things like that to help them move through. 
Also, I coach people on getting out of the journey for a weight loss program. We're all about following it to the T, but that's actually got nothing to do with your body. That's to do more about mind control. Does that make sense? Yeah? Cool. Um, we also offer um, complimentary holistic workshops, and I've run one in Paul's place before, and that's where I come into your workplace and I can talk to you guys about diet, about exercise, and get you in programs. We do some movement. Um, it's a really kind of fun kind of workshop. I also offer nutritional coaching and also home programs. So if you just want to come and get a program, you can do that too. So I have a couple of giveaways today, which include some consultations with me. You can answer some of these questions. Okay, first one, name two of the holistic principles. First off the rack. Sleep and diet. Yay, Sam, you get one. <laughs> Um, okay, name the two things that require the exercise. Motivation. 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 Everyday use. Functionality, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> okay, give me two of the primal patterns that we did. Two of the exercises that we did this morning. What was it? Lunging, bending, lunges and squats. Give me that. Um, so what kind of referrals am I looking for? Small business owners. You guys. Because if you take care of your health and your fitness, you'll also be taking care of your investment, which is you. Because without you, you can't run your business. Thank you. That's it for today.